Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Here's my MMP Shield Plus. I picked this up a couple months ago. I bought it online. I paid in the upper 400s for it. After transfer fee and shipping costs, I was well into the 500s. And I was okay with that. You know the subcompact double stack mag 9mm handgun, the, the competition is fierce. Every company's out there trying to get their product out there because it, it's hot. People love the additional capacity. And I think Smith did a nice job. They have a 13-round mag, which is in here, and then a flat base plate mag that carries 10 rounds. And, you know, they have the 2.0 grip texturing. They changed the trigger. Put a pretty nice trigger on there, I have to admit. That's a nice trigger. The reset right there. Now, a couple months ago, I made a video saying I'm going to say bye-bye to the M&P Shield. And the reason was because I got the Shield Plus. And I learned as I shot it and compared and did all this stuff, which is why I bought this. I wanted to compare it with some other guns and, and review it and shoot it. And I did all that. But the one thing that just, I, I can't get past it, is that this gun does not excite me. You know, when you open your safe and, and you see certain guns, it, you get this certain feeling that you're, you're just so proud to own it. I never got that feeling with the MP Shield Plus. Now, I did when I first got this back in 2012, and I, I've kept it ever since. It's in perfect shape. But with this, it you know, I, I think it's expensive. The MSRP is $553. It doesn't come with night sights. For that, this is the basic model. You can get night sights. You can get a whole bunch of things, but you have to move over to the Performance Center, and then the price skyrockets. I actually made a video called Why I Don't Like the M&P Shield Plus. I got some hate for it. I got a lot of support. But hey, that's the internet. That's how it goes. But I'm actually meeting a guy tonight. It is time to say bye-bye to the M&P Shield Plus. I'm actually going to keep the original Shield. That's a Gen 1 model. That's always been great for me. Get a little bit excited when I see it. it been a long time since I've owned it, so it kind of wore off a little bit. But the fact that this is not optic ready for the 3.1 inch barrel model kind of bothers me. The fact that they don't have night sights standard like they do on the Hellcat and the Ruger Max 9 and the Sig P365, that kind of bothers me. With And then the price is approximately right in the ballpark with those and then if you add the night sights and some other things it really climbs up there so i'm saying bye bye to the mp shield plus stick around i'm going to meet a guy hopefully the trade goes through and i'll be right back to show you what i got and you can let me know if you know it's a good deal or i got ripped off or whatever the case so i'm going to head out and meet that guy and finish up this video once i have the trade completed trade is complete both people walked away happy with what they received. And I received the firearm, this aftermarket inside the waistband holster. I'm not sure who makes this, but it does have real nice retention. And 60 bucks. And here is the pistol. It's a Canic TP9SF Elite. All black model. They now make this with a tungsten Cerakote finish, but it's in real nice condition. It came with three mags, a back strap, and everything else in the case. Now they now make them, they, they include a holster, and they also make it with the tungsten gray finish, just like this. Here's the TP9 Elite Subcompact Canic smallest handgun right here. This is the same thing except for it's got a 4.2 inch barrel and a sweet trigger 15 rounds there a very nice trigger i'm measuring it four and a half pounds with a very audible reset does have a rail there front serrations fiber optic front sight worn tactical rear sight does have a striker fire indicator a loaded chamber indicator bar Ambidextrous slide stop. The mag release can be switched over as well. But one thing I like about this model is the disassemble. All you do is pull it back a bit and it comes off just like that. You don't, you don't slide it off of the frame. And then to put it back on, you get it in this position and just like that. Same deal with this one. 
But I think I'm going to enjoy this, at least more than I did the M&P Shield Plus. Now, if you have the M&P Shield Plus and you think that's a great gun and it fits you perfectly, that is great. I want everybody to be happy and confident with their, their handgun, especially if it's a carry gun or home defense or however you're going to use it. I want everybody to be happy. It just wasn't for me. I have the TP9 SFX. I have the TP9 Elite Subcompact. Now I have the TP9 SF Elite. And I'm very happy with this trade. I think it worked out well for both people. The MSRP on this with the tungsten gray finish is 430. So that's where we came up with a little bit of cash and the holster. He got everything that just came in in the case. Okay, cardboard case. And we'll just check this out real quick. Nice retention, okay, inside the waistband for a righty. It's got this clip here, kind of a cheap clip, but there it is. So that's what I got, traded the m and Shield Plus, got the Canic TP9 SF Elite, and I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think. Would you make that trade, or did he get the better end of the deal? It's a done deal now, and I'm pretty happy. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.